plan, you don't know how to do it, you hate doing it, whatever, I have got a quick tip for you. And they're, I would call them budget meals as well, because you get to choose what goes in these meals. Um, but it makes them quick and easy to throw together. There's not a lot of thought that goes into it. If you keep these few ingredients on hand, so I wanted to show you how if you keep these few things on hand for busy days like this, I'm a mess because I just stopped cleaning so I could get dinner going. If you keep these few things on hand, you will always have a meal regardless of how busy you are and it doesn't take long. It only takes about 30 to 45 minutes for cooking and then however long you choose to put into the prep work and depending on what you have as far as vegetables. So what I'm talking about is first of all, your meat. Always have your meat on hand. I always keep chicken, I always keep beef, and I always keep some kind of pork on hand. It's usually pork chops, sometimes a pork roast, not very often, but pork tenderloins. Those are some of my favorite things to do. And you can actually buy pork loins that are already seasoned at Walmart if you want to go that route and make it even easier. They are a little more expensive to do it that way, so you need to keep that in mind. But I buy big family packs of chicken tenderloins, and that's what I'm using today. And I get these at Sam's. I paid $18.57 for this whole pack. There are a ton in here and then I just separate it into smaller freezer bags and then put it in the freezer. So anyway, have your meat, pork, beef, or chicken, and then have a vegetable or two. I had this package of broccoli that needs to be used up, and I have a few carrots that are left over. This is also a great way to clean out your fridge and save money on your grocery bill because you're using stuff that you've already got in there that needs to be used up. So we're going to put all of these on a cookie sheet and we're gonna toss them in the oven. But the other thing that you need to have is just a couple of seasoning blends and salt and pepper. Today I am using this one I got at Marshall's, but it's a roasted garlic rosemary and sea salt blend. I've seen these, it's the Gourmet Collection Spice Blends. I've seen these bunches of places. I just happened to get this one at Marshall's. I'm also going to use the rest of this smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. <laughs> That's hard to say. I love smoked paprika on baked vegetables. So I'm gonna use the rest of this too so I can get rid of this bottle. I also have some lemony or lemon butter garlic. I'm not using this. I'm just showing you what else I'm using. This is all I'm using and some pepper because this already has sea salt in it. So I don't need to add any additional salt. This is lemon butter garlic. I have caramelized onion butter. I have chili lime in case you want to go a little on the Mexican side and a Cuban blend. I got all of those at Sam's. I have seen really fun looking um, spice blends at Walmart as well. So we're just going to use the pepper, these two seasonings, and we are going to dump it all on a sheet pan and throw it in the oven. I'm gonna get my oven going at 350 because I'm just using little tenderloins these are not going to take very long. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on my cookie sheet. And I have chosen to use foil 
on my cookie sheet. You can use parchment paper if you want to. I think using the foil gives it a little more of a crunch and maybe browns it up a little bit, a little bit more. That's just my personal preference. A lot of times I use parchment paper and that's fine too. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and just dump these um, veggies right on, that's a lot of broccoli. I'm not even gonna use all that broccoli. That's way too much. So I'm still gonna have a little bit of this broccoli left. It'll just be for another meal. We're just sitting snack on. So there's the broccoli on the pan. I've got to get these carrots chopped up or cut up. I'm gonna set this out of the way so I can work on these carrots. Now, in addition to the vegetables and the meat, you can have add-ons if you want to, and I would consider an add-on to be something like rice, or a pasta, or a salad, or maybe even bread, and those would help fill the meal fill the meal out <laughs> if you didn't have a lot of meat or vegetables. Those are always good things to add as fillers, maybe even beans if you're having a Mexican or a chili uh, Tex-Mex kind of meal. Can't keep my thoughts straight and cut the carrots at the same time. But I keep this stuff on hand all the time because it is very common for me to just grab meat and vegetables. Sometimes I'll put the um, meat in a skillet and fix it that way. And I may just also saute the vegetables. It just happens that tonight I'm going to toss it all in the oven so I can keep cleaning and I won't have to worry about it. I'll come and check on it in 30 minutes if it seems like my chicken is done, but my veggies still need a little bit longer, I'll just take the uh, chicken off and put it on a platter and let those vegetables continue to cook. Cover that meat and let those juices go back into it anyway, and it'll be more tender. Now, if I were gonna do beef, I would probably, <laughs> I would probably, um, cut it into bite-sized pieces and saute that on the stove or toss it in the oven like we're getting ready to do with this as well. Oh my. Oh, if you heard that, I don't know if you could hear that or not. The girls are out on the porch and Sadie is scared to death of the chickens. And evidently, you're okay, Sadie. You're not in trouble, baby, it's okay. You're okay. Oh, Boo Boo came in too. Sadie is scared to death of the chickens and evidently one of them was trying to come up on the porch and she thought it was gonna get her, so she snapped at it. <laughs> Bless her heart, she's scared. She's going to hide under the bed for crying out loud. Okay, oops, I have another one. I missed it. What was I saying? I would cut the beef into bite-sized pieces and probably saute it on the stove. And if you like this kind of video, go ahead and let me know. Leave me a thumbs up and leave the comment saying that you want, you want more. And I'll show you how I do more of these and how I make sauces and drizzles, especially if I'm fixing it on top of the stove. Sometimes I'll make a drizzle to go over the meat and vegetables or over the rice if I fix rice. If I were gonna do beef chunks, I like to fix asparagus with the beef chunks. That and broccoli are my favorites. And set that aside, get these rinsed and I'll be right back. You want to be sure that your meat and veggies are dry because if they're not, they don't receive, well, first of all, oil and water don't mix and we're going to put some olive oil on here or avocado if that's what you prefer to use. So we're gonna make sure that's dry. I'm gonna do a couple at a time. And I, now if you don't want to peel these and you wanna make it easier for yourself, by all means, absolutely go ahead, and, go ahead and buy the carrots 
that are already peeled and in the baggie. That would be just fine too. Get these other two done. I'm trying not to pause or stop my recording too much as I do this because I want you to see really how easy it is. Okay, there's the veggies. So I had four carrots and I've got just a little bit of broccoli here. I'll put another couple pieces of broccoli back on there. Okay, now then, I am just gonna open this up. It is so much cheaper if you can afford it to buy your meat this way because then you can divide it into however many pieces your family will need and freeze the rest. I freeze mine in uh, packages of two because if I'm here by myself and I want lunch or whatever and Adam is at home at the time, then all I need is two. But if Adam's home, then I can take out two or three packages depending on what I'm fixing. So that's all I'm gonna put on here. I'm gonna use the same one that I used on the carrots to dry them off. And we're just gonna dry off this chicken. And I'm gonna give my hands a good wash. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here. Now, the only thing left to do is, whoa, that came out a little too fast, <laughs> is give these, oh my gosh, I did it again, a drizzle of oil, just a tiny bit. Don't even have to do this to the chicken if you don't want to. Trying to get as little on there as possible. I'm gonna rub that on, grab a paper towel. Y'all, if you could only see how I really look. My britches I have on are probably two inches above my ankles because they're too short. It's not easy to find jeans or pants that are long enough when you're 5'9". Okay, now then. I only want the smoked path on the veggies. And in the time that it took for my oven to heat up, these are just about ready to go in the oven. This is that roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt. I do put this on pretty liberally. I mean, it's all to taste. Anytime you're cooking, it's all to taste when you're adding seasonings or spices. And then a little pepper. I only want the pepper on my chicken. I don't like pepper on my vegetables. And in the oven it goes. I have set the timer for 30 minutes and I will see you back then and we'll check on that chicken. I'm pretty sure that will be done or pretty close to done. The vegetables might need a little bit longer. If the chicken's done, but the vegetables need a little bit longer, I'm probably gonna kick that heat up to 400 and let those vegetables cook a little bit faster since that meat isn't gonna be on there. Super easy, super easy. And this is all you have to clean up. How easy is that?
I've mentioned it before, but this is one of the best things you can keep in your kitchen. Your dish soap goes in your handle. This one doesn't leak at all. And when I had just have something small like that um, cutting board that I just needed to clean up because everything else went into the dishwasher, this is perfect to do that. Easy peasy. And I'm all for convenience. I'm gonna go give these to the chickens. Hey y'all, this is getting ready to come out of the oven. It's got just about a minute and a half left. I wanted to let you know, this is really how easy dinner can be. I might just put a piece of plain old butter bread, just from the loaf of bread as the side. If I even do that, I don't really necessarily want the carbs. So I'm probably not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna have the meat and vegetables, but that is something that you can do. It doesn't have to be fancy. Your family will eat, they will eat well, and they won't care. If they do, maybe you should retrain them. But this is really how easy it is. You don't need a big ingredient filled, elaborate recipe to have for dinner. Your meat of choice, your vegetables of choice. Season them up, saute them both in a pan, separately or together, either one. Put them in the oven if you have other things that you wanna do while dinner's being cooked. I can tell you, I've already checked the carrots and I thought this was probably gonna be the case. They're gonna need just a little bit more time, so, but that chicken is perfect. And we've got about 17 seconds left. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that chicken out and get this on a saucer and cover it up with some foil. Just a second. I am going to I just turned it up to 425 that'll get these because they're already partially cooked but I wanted to show this is the biggest piece of chicken and I always check the biggest piece of chicken but look how tender that is it is just falling apart so so good I'm not trying to cut it. I'm just poking into it and, and twisting it. There's no pink. And listen, if there is just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of pink that is left on your chicken, I go ahead and take it up anyway because it's hot and it's going to continue to cook while it sits here under this foil. Whoops. While it sits here under the foil. So there's the chicken. The tenderloins are perfect. 30 minutes at... 350 degrees, get those covered up, and get this back in the oven, and I am going to scoot those vegetables over here where the chicken was cooking so they can get into that little bit of broth that the chicken made, and we're going to get these back in the oven, and dinner will be ready. There we go. It's not quite up to 425, but they're gonna keep cooking in there anyway until it reaches that temperature. And maybe five or 10 more minutes, that'll give this time to set. And you really should let your meat sit anyway. It lets those juices soak back up into the meat and it makes your meat more tender. And that's gonna be dinner. Just a plain old piece of butter bread, just a salad. That's all you need, the meat, the vegetables, your choice of what those are. Now, like I said, if you wanna see more of this, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments that you want to see more, and I'll show you how to make some of those sauces or drizzles when we do something like this that can go over them. And I also have a very yummy all-purpose dressing or seasoning that can go over the vegetables. I have a couple of them actually so you can season your vegetables a little bit differently if you just wanna steam them on top of the stove. I have a whole bunch of ideas like this. Let me know, do you wanna know them? Or eh, move on to something else. <laughs> I just took these out of the oven. It did take 
another 10 minutes and that heating up, there is about 17 minutes or 17 seconds left on the timer. Y'all, I love, love, love baked carrots. So yummy. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't feel like cooking anything else. I got the end with that little grizzly thing in it. I can hear it as I... Mm. So tender. Mm. So good. These are... These are crisp tender. <laughs> These are crisp tender. Mm. Ha. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Easy dinner. It doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to be food. <laughs> so this is quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly. It's a great way to clean out your refrigerator, add a piece of butter bread, add a salad, add some rice, pasta, whatever you wanna do. Dinner's done and it was done in 30 minutes for the chicken, 40 minutes to finish cooking the carrots. Easy peasy. Y'all, I don't think that you have to have some grand recipe to fix dinner for your family. You don't. Look in your freezer, look in your fridge, make stuff up, buy fresh vegetables, buy frozen vegetables, it doesn't matter. Just make it easy on yourself, on your family. This is the holiday season we're going into. We're all busy. This is something you can do to keep from going out to eat. And quick and easy, quick and easy. I can't say that enough. It's quick, it's easy, it's good. It's meat, vegetables, it's healthy. Okay, y'all, let me know if you want more of this and I will see you in the next one. God bless. Mm -hmm.